Welcome back everyone to episode 12, season 2 of the Kenshi Let's Struggle. Returning to Fort Herald, things are going pretty well. We have a pretty sufficient supply of wheat straw going on right now, and we're producing quite a bit of cactus as well. Or at least making sure everybody's fed and making some money back finally. I do need to advance of a technology tree though, so we're going to make a run later on. First though, I need to tend to Fort Harold as I wanted to make sure that everybody was starting to get trained up a little bit more. I had a few people that needed to get trained up in strength, still up to 50. And I decided it was about time I start to get my first unit above 50 strength. So my method for this right now was just grab the heaviest stuff that I can really find. That'll make Ruka's inventory go up to 50%. So she's gaining 50% experience from, you know, basically walking around. Now, I'm going to set up a water well over near the pond over here. That way, we can set up a worker and she can follow him. Now, before any of this could happen, we were told about some bandit demands. And probably a fucking second later, the bandit demands arrived. Big surprise, of course, it's the dust bandits. <laughs> a huge group of them this time, though, like... A fucking shit ton. <laughs> Watching them flood into Fort Harold was honestly kind of a piss off, you know? We did leave her gates wide open, but either way, they wouldn't be making it that far as Harold and the others ran out into the group in order to fight the army of dust bandits. Now, Harold on his own does pretty well and can go against all the dust bandits pretty fine, you know? Five, no problem. Meanwhile, same with the other units. Everybody was doing pretty well. B02 was holding his own against his own group, as well as Arpo and Wet Axo performing some flashy moves on the fucking idiots. It was nice because I was able to get everybody some experience, and I had Implored on passive during this war, so everybody got a little bit of fighting in. After taking over melee front lines, we had to go on to the crossbowmen, and I decided, okay, I'll turn Implored off of uh, passive mode, and within a fucking second of turning him on, maybe under a second, he started smashing people with his fucking skull. I started dying when this happened, honestly, in-game. This is by far one of my favorite Kenshi moments. After that though, everybody was pretty wounded up. Harold had gotten some pretty fucking rough blows to him, as well as everyone else. So I would need to have him sleep it off and make sure that everybody else was doing alright. We wouldn't have too much time to relax though, as a few hours would pass, we would already have another bandit raid at our gates. Now the skeletons of course didn't stand for this, and I sent them all out to go handle it, and, and of course they swept house with the swamp ruffians. Really just showing them that they're fucking idiots for pulling up here. No matter how many troops they bring, they're just no match right now. With that mess out of the way, I could go on to look for the water tank. Now, I spent a fucking, like, minute in-game looking for the damn water tank. Probably just because uh, I'm, you know, smooth brain or some shit. But once I did found it, <laughs> fucking smooth brain right there. Once I did find it, I put it on the other side of a pond. That way we can travel back and forth between the well and the water tank. And while Kang is going to be doing that, I will have Ruka following him. That way, she'll be walking behind him, and he'll be, you know, continuously moving between the well and that water tank. No, check back near the end of the episode to see what kind of progress we made. Meanwhile, the people that we had in the cages were starting to starve to death, so I gave them some food and decided... Instead, I was just going to get a mod to fix this. So after reloading with a mod, I was able to talk to one of the bandits, and I renamed him to Little Vante. Now the second unit, I renamed him to Pod, but I kept in Triage first. I, I took out the triangle. <laughs> For now, most of your new recruits won't be too suited up or strong, but we'll be getting them up soon once we have some armor crafters. After that though, an animal trader ended up showing up at our gates, so I sent Harold over to check out what kind of animals he had for sale, and he actually had a mechanical spider for not too bad of a price. 15k, so I decided why not, because we couldn't get one in the last episode, and I named him the Snub. Snub got out of the water and ran up to Harold, and the skeletons joined them as they were about ready to take off to go to the ruins. There were a couple of ruins that we could go check out, and the second one would be in the bottom left left so we could at least make two runs in one go on the way there they saw many fucking weird swamp life while going through the swamp but they ended up making it to the first ruins in a few hours and there wasn't really too much there it was a broken down ruins so it, basically the foundation was one with the ground and there wasn't really too much there there was one good weapon really and a couple other things but nothing too noteworthy 
Now, I didn't end there, though. I sent them to the next ruins, where we did have a little bit more luck. This one seemed to be in actual fucking good shape. Immediately, they were attacked by a skeleton guard that was near the gates. Now, the skeleton guard stood little to no chance against the group, and after they rushed against the gates to go charge it, they ended up actually fucking pushing Skeleton Fox into the fucking place, so that he's fighting all these blood spiders that are now coming at him. Meanwhile, the rest of the group is trying to smash their way into the place. Now, Skeleton Fox was doing really good. He took out like two dozen of them or so, but the last few blood spiders he just had too much trouble with and they ended up taking him out. Either way though, they got in within a minute and Skeleton Fox isn't a human, so he wouldn't be eaten alive anyways. But they were able to take out the rest of the blood spiders within a couple minutes, after which they could go and patch up Skeleton Fox and the others. Now it was time to go check out what was inside the ruins. So while looking in the ruins, I'm basically looking for any storage containers that I can look into. Anything that's not empty is worth checking out. Anything like barrels and general storage chests, stuff like that. On the first floor, unfortunately, though, there wasn't really too much. There was, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking gears and other bullshit. Now the second floor didn't prove that useful as well, there's only a couple research benches and nothing much up here. Well I could have grabbed some steel bars, I decided to skip out on it this time, and I went upstairs to where the real good loot is, where the storage chest room is. So in here there's a bunch of different containers, all those little white square containers are all lootable and have different types of loot inside of them or different variations. Example, I got a first aid kit, then I got the ancient science book which was pretty cool. Most of them though just contain the first aid kits and electrical parts which I would take because I can use both of those over at the base. But after that I had to get everybody to go around and pick all the locks as well as get Harold to use some of the tools on the safe. The next big find really was a map, and this map was for another ruins. Now, once I checked it out, it turns out the ruins is in the Ashlands, so it's in the far bottom right of the map, but I'm sure we're going to get there one day, so at least we have that spot marked down. Along with that, I also found a couple different blueprints for some ancient things like safes and other stuff. Pretty cool. After that, though, in the safe, there was an ancient science book as well as some motors and other things that were probably be very useful in the long term I think. So of course I'm gonna bring all of this stuff back to the base. But once Harold got the big safe open, it contained a whopping 11 ancient science books along with a few other things but mainly the 11 ancient science books was a huge win on our part. Afterwards the ant and snub got stuck inside so I got B01 and other people to pick them up, which will let you run out of a building with them and put them down so they're not all glitched in the fucking wall. After that though, I didn't want to end right there. We still had lots of stuff that we could bring back to the base, but there was still plenty of room within Snub the Spider. I couldn't really pass up on just leaving right now, as even though we got quite a bit of good stuff, we can always get more. So. I decided to send them down to the next ruins that was a little bit further away from this one. Now that one was glitched out and didn't have fuck all there, so we ended up just going over to the grid. Now the grid was actually pretty cool, I hadn't been here before either, and the grid is sort of like a lot of mountains in exactly a grid format, like square format. So. We're walking straight between the mountains, and in between one of them, I could see a little shack place, and within this place, there's no enemies, thankfully, and there's just a bunch of loot. Now, enemies might spawn, enemies might not spawn, I have no idea, maybe they're fucking killed by wolf, maybe they're killed by the bone dogs. On our part, it's good, because we got some engineering research, this is the first time we're finding this, and this stuff is very good. I found a couple more ancient science books and a couple of chests. But after that, there's a nice loot of four engineering research, as well as a specialist grade plate jacket, which was better than Skeleton Fox's current one, so I had him equipped it. After that though, I figured I might as well check around a little bit more, and I found one more shack like this within the grid. Now, I went over to it, and this one didn't seem to have as much stuff. I still got eight engineering research from it. There wasn't too much else worth of value or anything that I was going to take home. So with that, I was sending them back on their way to Fort Harold, and when checking in on Fort Harold, I realized our cactus supply was full. We had been producing so much fucking cactus, and we had full cactus rum as well. 
So I'm gonna have two people work on Cactus Rum now because we have a couple AFK units anyways that could use a job. Now Harold and his group did run into one group and that was the Black Ninja Gennings. So of course you can basically guess how this went, you know? Fucking predictable. They got their heads smashed in. Luckily later on in the day though they would be able to make it back to Fort Harold where we could deposit all the engineering research and ancient science books that we grabbed. First off I was just gonna go and get research tech number four that way we have it and then i'm going to upgrade the bench that way we can go and upgrade all the other techs now harold finally has a chance to relax it's been a while since he got to do one of his favorite things and just science about and learn shit <laughs> meanwhile snub i decided to keep the rest of the stuff that we grabbed just on him for now as i think we're going to place down a few more buildings soon and i also wanted to get b01 and skeleton fox trained up a bit more because why not so I had them set up against one of the dust bandits. Meanwhile, Ruka had reached a nice level 65 in strength. So after a few days of doing that, that was quite worth it, honestly. Now for the last bit of progress, I'll show you guys what we researched in the tech tree. So first off, I really wanted to prioritize farming. So I got wells, moisture farming, and hash production. As well as I wanted to do some mining, so I went and grabbed some steel bars. As well as advanced weapon smithing and grades, that way we can make some better weapons. Now there's lots of different choices, really, and I wasn't too sure on what to grab, but... I really wanted to get skeleton repair beds because we really need those at the base, honestly. And it would make life a lot easier. And then I went through to grab a couple of other things like robotics and some other mining things. As well as advanced medicine. Overall, we made really good progress this episode. And in the next episode, we're probably going to be doing a lot of base building and stuff like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Kenshi Let's Struggle. Sorry it took a little bit to get out. I didn't have internet for about half a week, so... I was kind of fucked over on that part, but thank you guys for all the support recently. As always, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and maybe like the video. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.